All right, this is just a super quick video to show you how to add a name to a tote bag or anything else in my Zazzle store. So after clicking on the customize button, you, you'll see something like this, a screen like this. Go up here to the left, hit text, and then add text. And then we're going to add a name on here. Go with Casey. <clears throat> All right, so you can choose your fonts over here. You've got a whole bunch to choose from, and you've got different ones you can look at. You can do handwriting, calligraphy if you want, or just all fonts. I've chosen cookie earlier because I like it. So I'm going to bring this up. And if you notice that green line right there, that's a kind of a snap line, and it shows that I'm right smack dab in the middle of my tote bag. So I think this looks good. So I'm going to look at the pre preview now. Okay, I like that here. I brought it up. However, I could make this a little bit better, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So go back here. I have selected Casey. I'm going to, hit, on my keyboard, I'm going to hit Control C, which is copy, and then Control B, which is paste. Now, if you go here to the left, click here, and it shows that I have two Casey's now. One's right below the other. I'm going to select the one below. And then I'm going to go to the right here to the color of my font, and I'm going to click on it and change it to black, which now means that the Casey underneath the white is black. Next, I'm going to hold the control key on my keyboard, and then I'm going to use my arrow keys, and that will move the underside layer just a tiny little bit. So I'm going to go a little to the left, two taps, and then I'm going to go two taps down. Actually, no, wait, I'm going to go back up. Okay, so one tap down, two to the left and one down. Now, I'm gonna look at it again, and as you can see, it pops a little bit more, you know, stands out a little bit more there, so I like that. So then I would click Done, and there you have it. And you could also do it on the other side, too. Actually, let me show you how to do that real fast. Okay, go back into uh, the customized part, and then what I would, what you can do is click the Casey here and then hit the shift key and click Casey below. That locks those two layers and then go control copy and then click on the back and then go control B and there you go. Now you don't have you didn't have to um, recenter it or anything. It's it's already been done because it was done on the front. Alright, so that's it.